Hey yo, don't take alcohol with these drugs. This is Farm D Vic. Hey yo, what's good, man? Been a long time. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody's being safe. And I hope everyone's keeping their peace. You know, praying that God blesses all of y'all. Today, we start a series where we detail different drugs that you should not take with alcohol. These drugs will include antihistamines, Lyrica, disulfiram-like drugs, and opioids. But today, we'll focus solely on antihistamines. All right, so what are antihistamines? Antihistamines are drugs most commonly used for seasonal allergies, but can be used for other things as well. These things include motion sickness, vertigo, anxiety, and insomnia. All right, Joe, so here's the deal. When you have allergies, your body releases this thing called histamine. So histamine, what it does when it reaches these things called H1 or histamine 1 receptors, it causes your body to itch, it causes your body to sneeze, it causes your body to get teary-eyed, it causes you to build up a lot of mucus everywhere. That's what histamine does. So what antihistamines do, they block the histamine 1 receptors, stopping the effect of histamine. All right, so the most common antihistamines for seasonal allergies include diphenhydramine, better known as Benadryl, cetirizine, better known as Zyrtec, loratadine, better known as Claritin, fexofenadine, better known as Allegra, and the new boy on the block, level cetirizine, better known as Zyzol. That's the new one with, you know, the owl in the commercial. For motion sickness and vertigo, the most common antihistamines used include diphenhydramine once again in the drug Dramamine and Meclizine in the drug Antivert. For anxiety, the most common antihistamine used is hydroxyzine, better known by the brand name of Atarax. And once again, we see diphenhydramine being used as a sleep agent. All right, Joe, so why shouldn't you drink alcohol with antihistamines? There are two major reasons. The first and most common reason, both alcohol and antihistamines can cause drowsiness. Alcohol is a depressant, meaning it slows down the central nervous system. That's all the stuff controlled by the brain, basically. As a result, it often makes people sleepy. First generation antihistamines, listed below, also cause drowsiness because they cross the blood-brain barrier. Second generation antihistamines, like your Zyrtec, Claritin, Allegra, and Zyzol, are formulated not to cross the blood-brain barrier but can sometimes still cause drowsiness as well. The second reason is that antihistamines and alcohol can both cause dizziness and nausea. Antihistamines are known to cause dizziness to the point that antihistamines aren't recommended in adults over the age of 65, according to the Beer's Criteria list of medications, which is basically this rule book on how to treat old people on drugs. Now imagine if you gave Grandma Susie some of that sippy sip with some Benadryl. Shorty could have a real bad time. Here's a quick pop culture example. During the seventh season of the critically acclaimed Cosby show, there was an episode called No More Mr. Nice Guy. During this episode, Theo was cooking dinner for a date. Before his date arrived, Ellen, the girlfriend of Theo's friend Denny, arrived to talk with Theo about Denny's surprise birthday party. She had some wine, but forgot she had taken antihistamines during the day. Before she left the house, Ellen became nauseous, running up the stairs to the bathroom, where she then proceeded to throw her guts up. Ellen would then complain about feeling dizzy while recovering upstairs, falling in and out of sleep, showcasing all the risk I previously discussed. This episode shows the potential side effects of mixing alcohol with antihistamines. Alright, so music for today's video was provided by U4, a prolific beat maker from my native Baltimore, Maryland. Check them out on YouTube, SoundCloud, Apple Music, and Spotify. Other people who have been featured on this channel when it comes to the music includes Tails, Tech Loon, McClenny, and Radical The Kid. Feel free to check them all out. All right, if you like this video, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. This has been a Viceroy Flare production, and this is Farm D Vic.